and all Jerusalem with him. So they, they, the Jews weren't even involved in this. They were upset about it too. They didn't act. They didn't go see the king. They didn't hail the Messiah to be born. But from a thousand miles away, Gentiles bearing gifts came to worship the king. They're great. Those, I love those guys. They're, I think of the scripture uh, in Matthew chapter 23, which we'll get to in forever from now. Jesus says, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who killed the prophets and stoned those sent to you, how often I have longed to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, and you were not willing. Yeah. Look, your house is left desolate. Jesus longs to gather his children together. Amen. It is Jesus' desire to uphold us. He wants to put us to the Father as a prized possession. Uh -huh. Look at uh -huh. my child. Yeah. Just as God did that with Job to the devil. Behold, have you seen Job? Have you seen Job? Jesus says, have you seen Pete? Have you seen Rita? He wants to say, have you seen my servant? Behold, Father, I give it to you. Jesus wants to uphold our name, and we have to uphold his. And to do that, we have to nail our sins to the cross. You know what? For me, a hammer isn't good enough. I need a mini sledgehammer sometimes. Some of the stuff I do and some of the stuff I think. And a hammer isn't going to cut it. I got to come to Jesus with a mini sledge. And I got to pray for forgiveness. And I got to lift him up. And I know he'll lift me up. Right. Are we upholding the name of Jesus? Come on, brother. Come listen, on. Come listen, on. listen. I didn't say, are we upholding the name of God? You can uphold the name of God all day long in public square and public circles. I know it sounds a little blasphemous. You don't have to uphold the name of God. I'm talking about upholding the name of Jesus. Because you can call upon God, but the moment you start dropping the name of Jesus, what's going to happen? You're going to see a change. I, I love bringing the name of Jesus in a conversation of people that it makes them uncomfortable. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, they'll talk about God. They'll talk. They'll say blessing, and I'm blessed, and you know, God bless you. And really, hey, I like Jesus. It changes the entire way of the conversation. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's personal. And I'm gonna tell you something. No. And I, and I challenge you to do this. Drive around wherever you drive. Look at your church marquee signs. Look at them. They're fortune cookies. I challenge you to find the name Jesus in a marquee sign on a church. Take a picture of it. Show me next week. See how many you can find. I'll be, I'll be happy if you find three. My wife and I walk every morning. We, we pass a church in our neighborhood. They change the marquee every so often. And God help me. It's a, it's a fortune cookie every single time. Have we yet seen the name Jesus in that sign? We used to, when I passed through the church in Florida, there was a a large, seeker-sensitive type church in our area it was called Grace Place, and they would send out their mass mailers probably at least once a month. And they would have, you know, they did it's this big card. They invite you to church, and they invite you to come out, and you know, they, all the things that they're doing. And we challenged her, my wife and I privately. Said, "You see, and we looked every time we came. We wanted to see the name of Jesus, and never once in five years I picked that back. One time during Easter." They mentioned it. That's a ridiculous total tally if you're a church. The name Jesus makes a huge difference, even in the body of Christ, than just saying God. Consider what Jesus said. However, don't rejoice that the Spirit submit to you, but rejoice that your name is written. Ooh, come on, man. <laughs> That's reason enough to uphold oh, Jesus. Yes. And as Christians... Our names are upheld by the one who holds everything together. Oh, hallelujah. Eternally secure hallelujah. for all time. But when it comes to our daily life, are we upholding the name of Jesus? This is a question we have to ask ourselves on a daily basis. Are we afraid of what others might say? Because again, when we start dropping the name of Jesus in public places, 
you better expect a reaction. Now, not to belabor these verses, but go back and look again at verses 1 through 2. Jesus. 